Hi, this is Francis from Easel. Today, we're going to be talking through a question we get a lot in the technical support department, and that's how to plane or surface a wasteboard in Easel, how to set that up in Easel, and then also how to set up and plane material in Easel. Um, so we're going to kind of walk through that really quickly and, and talk about how it's done. Um, the first thing is we'll set up a, a wasteboard or a surfacing project. Essentially, what that looks like is um, I've got a piece of material that's the size of my work area, so 29.528 by 29.528, and that's the size of my work area. If you're curious about what the size of your work area is in Easel, you can click on Machine and Edit Your Machine, and you'll be able to see it right there. But you'll want to make a piece of material that's the size of your uh, work area and then you'll uh, go over to the shapes and add a square to easel and you'll want to match the size of your square to uh, the size of your material so I've uh, messed it up a little bit here uh, So uh, once you've got your, your square matched the size of the material, you can select it, click on Edit, and Center to Material, and that's going to center it on your uh, work area. You'll then want to set the depth to something pretty light. Typically for a surfacing project, I, I recommend anywhere from between like point, uh, like 0 0.01 to point zero three, somewhere in there usually works the best. Since you'll be using a surfacing bit, and they have a wide they're a lot wider typically. You don't want to put too much strain on the bit by going too deep. So you can always run the project multiple times, but you want to make sure that you are um, setting your, your cut depth somewhat low. And then you can go ahead and simulate this and you'll be able to visualize uh, what that carve is going to look like. And that's essentially how you would surface your work area is you would set your material size to the same as your work area create a, a square over top of that that's the same size as your material and work area, set the depth to something really light, and then you set up a, a surfacing bit of some sort, uh, typically by adding it as a custom bit, and then you can go ahead and run that as a carve. Um, it's very similar. Similarly, um, you can plane objects in easel. The process is pretty much the same. Um, essentially, what you would do is, let's say you have a material that's uh, 12 by... Uh, 16. Um, you would just set that material up, create a square or rectangle in this case. It's the same size as your material. And uh, center it to your material again. And then you could run that uh, as a, a planning project. And that would be how you would plan it. Again, you'll want to set that depth relatively light um, so you're not carving out too much material and, and damaging uh, either the spindle or the bit. Um, and that's essentially how you plan in Easel. Have a wonderful day. To learn more, head over to easel.com.